Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk a little bit about some military history. <laughs> it's not exactly my favorite topic of conversation. It's kind of dry, right? But it did come up in conversation the other day, so I figured, hey, why not make a video about it? Now, this is going to revolve around this cap, right? This is the utility cap, uh, sometimes known as the eight corner or eight point cap. It's most notably worn by the Marine Corps and also by the Navy. But what a lot of people don't know is that it was actually issued to Air Force personnel as well, at least for a period of time. Now, it was never officially adopted by the Air Force as an authorized uniform item, but one MAGCOM, CENTAF, actually issued it to their people. Now, if you deployed to Operation Enduring Freedom or Operation Iraqi Freedom and you were a ground troop in the Air Force, that means you didn't do anything with aircraft, right? You were security forces, EOD, engineering, something like that. Chances are you were in CENTAF, right? And as such, they were only going to issue you this or maybe a boonie cap, right? We had our choice between the two. Most of us picked the boonie cap because it actually had a function. It'd keep the sun off you, whereas this just kind of looked a little bit more squared away. Our officers wore this. Uh, security forces usually wore this too because it gave more of a professional appearance than the more floppy boonie cap, right? Now the, the history that CENTAF has with this kind of dates back to about the first Gulf War. I don't know much about that, but I do know that for at least a few years uh, this was pretty much a standard thing if you were deploying in the Air Force. Now I think it pretty much went away whenever the Air Force ditched the DCU pattern and went with the ABU but I don't know if that for sure. So <laughs> anyways, guys, if you deployed in the Air Force uh, with the ABU pattern and you had the utility cap, let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to know that. <laughs> See, during my time, we had the DCU when we deployed and the BDU when we were back stateside. But anyways, guys, that is the Air Force's history of the utility cap. It was a CENTAF thing. <laughs> so there you go. Alright guys, quick little channel update. Um, I know I haven't posted very many videos lately, so I figured I'd at least get one short one out here. Uh, I've had something that popped up has been taking up a lot of my free time. That is, I've been dealing with the VA. <laughs> and I know all the veterans just went, oh no. Yeah, that'll do it. So you know how dealing with the VA is. You just clear your schedule and hope for the best, but you're probably not going to be pleasantly surprised. But I think I got everything squared away with that, so now we can kind of get back to our regularly uh, scheduled programming here. It is small game season. Deer season is over. At some point I have to do a deer season review. Uh, shortly I will be going squirrel hunting. Maybe tomorrow if the weather is nice, but I think it's supposed to rain. We'll see how that goes. Also guys, on the Wiggy's Wilderness Facebook page, uh, I have posted a request for questions. Now, if you have any questions that you would like answered by me, possibly on a uh, upcoming video, shoot me a line over there, okay? Or in the comments below. Either one, as long as I can find it. <laughs> if you have a question that you'd like for me to answer, just let me know. And hey, if there's enough interest in it, it could come up on uh, one of our upcoming videos. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully we will have more stuff coming out here really soon. So, until next time, thumbs up. Thank you.